All right, today we are going to continue with solving equations with variables on both sides. So please get your notes out from yesterday and get out your homework as well. Uh, we will check homework first and then we will go in with our notes. So if you're watching this on a video, um, once we get to the homework page, just go ahead and pause the video so you can check your homework. All right, so for those of you that have paused the video and restarted and we're going to continue notes or in class, um, our first equation is 3 eighths minus 1 fourth x equals 1 half x minus 3 fourths. Okay, so just like yesterday, um, the first thing that we want to do is actually split this equation in half or draw the river. Okay. Then we need to determine what um, variable we want to move. Do we want to move the negative one-fourth x or do we want to move the one-half x? Um, let's first of all clear out the fraction by multiplying through by the least common denominator. So we have in the denominators an eight, a four, a two, and a four. So we can multiply every single term by eight over 8, 8 over 1, um, or multiply every single term by 8 and cancel out those denominators. And when we do that, we end up with 3 minus 2x equals 4x minus 6. Okay. Now, the next thing that we want to do is determine which variable we're going to move and probably it'll be easier to add a 2x to both sides. And when we do that, we find that we have 3 equals 6x minus 6. The next thing that we want to do is undo that minus 6, so we're going to add a positive 6 to both sides. When we simplify, we have that 9 equals 6x. Lastly, divide both sides through by 6. And then we can reduce that fraction. So we have x equals 9 over 6, which reduces nicely to 3 halves, or for you decimal lovers, 1.5. Go ahead and do the check. Very nice. All right, let's move on to example 6. Example 6 is a special case. We've talked about something like this a couple of times. So here, the first thing that we're going to do is split the equation, or draw the river. The next thing that we are going to do is um, subtract 2x from both sides. Subtract 2x from both sides. And when we do that, we end up with 5 equals negative 3. Now we've talked about this before. Does 5 ever equal negative 3? I'm hoping that you're shouting no, no. So the answer to this is no solution. Remember when we um, have a false statement or something that is never true, this becomes no solutions. Nice job. Our last example, um, example 7, is something that we have not talked about. So I have the equation 3 times the quantity x plus 1, close parenthesis, minus 5 equals 3x minus 2. The first thing that we want to do is draw the river, split the equation, and then we need to distribute. We need to distribute that 3. So we're, when we distribute, we'll end up with 3x plus 3 minus 5 equals 3x minus 2. Uh, then we're going to combine like terms. On the left side, 3 minus 5 is a negative 2. So we end up with um, 3x minus 2 equals 3x minus 2. When we subtract 3x from both sides, we end up with negative 2 equals negative 2, or even um, notice that before we subtracted 3x from both sides, we had exactly the same thing on both sides of the equal sign. 3x minus 2 equals 3x minus 2. So in this instance, 
um, negative 2 always equals negative 2, or 3x minus 2 always equals 3x minus 2. So this is always true. Whenever we have something that is always true, this is infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. Meaning that x can be any value. Any value that you assign to x will make this true, always. All right. So let's try a practice one. I have um, the question, what is the value of x if negative 3 plus 12x equals 12x minus 3? Give you a minute to think about that. All right, hopefully you discovered that this is infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. Very good. One more example, this is a challenge. What is the value of x if negative eight times the quantity x plus one plus three times the quantity x minus two equals negative three x plus two? Hopefully you discovered negative eight. Very good. Okay, questions. This is a great chance for you to ask questions. Um, you should be watching this video at home on Monday night as part of your homework. So um, the homework for tomorrow or Tuesday's assignment will follow on the next slide. The great thing about this is that you'll have the opportunity to do all of your homework in class on Tuesday. We'll grade this assignment together. Um, so your homework as follows. Circles, you have a separate assignment, trapezoids and pentagons. Um, enjoy. Thanks.